All right, guys, Gary McCready from HVAC Know It All back with another video. So what we're going to do today is show you what can happen to contactors on the line side. They blow fuses when this happens, and sometimes people just replace the fuses and they check all the loads like the compressors, the fans, and all that kind of stuff, and they, they don't really find anything wrong with that stuff. So they replace the fuses and they move on, and then a few days later, a week later, a day later, the fuses might blow again. Now inside here, there's a box of fuses that somebody left that says spare fuses for rooftop whatever because obviously they've been having this problem for a while now this is a new contract i'm doing some sub work here so the company that has the new contract is asking me to go in and look at a bunch of equipment and rectify some problems so i'm going to show you why these fuses are blowing on the roof and we're going to rectify that today so here's our fuse disconnect what we're going to do is check for power first and then we're going to ohm out which fuses have blown And I always check the ground as well to make sure that we don't have any anything to ground. So now we're going to find out which fuses are blown. We always touch our leads together to make sure we got continuity through our leads. So all three fuses are blown, we're going to replace these and go to the roof. Our disconnect is off on the roof and you never turn on the main disconnect with the disconnect on on the roof. You always shut the disconnect off on the roof first before you turn the main on. The new fuses you're about to stick into the disconnect, you have to check them for continuity because I've seen it where a tech will pull out blown fuses, right, and they'll throw them in the box and not write on them, not throw them in the garbage. They'll, they'll end up back in the box and a tech will throw in a bad fuse and not know it because you got to check, you got to check. So obviously we're just going to throw our meter across in the continuity mode on our meter. And we're good there. So we're going to do this with all three, make sure they're good. We're going to throw them back in. Here are the steps up to the, the higher roof and I just put my bag down. I accidentally seen this. Look how many fuses are under there. Don't know how many didn't count, but there's at least 10. Now, somebody's been changing fuses on this thing for quite some time and have not come and rectified the problem. This is a real problem in our industry. This is either laziness or it's a lack of skill. If it's a lack of skill, maybe it's not the technician's fault. They haven't been trained properly. Maybe the company hasn't sent out the right individual after seeing this many dead fuses over the course of time on their service reports you'd think that they'd want to get to the bottom of it but today we are and I'll show you exactly what's been going on all right so here is the electrical panel there's some silicone here on this opening and there's some up in there too some high temp silicone I don't know why they chose high temp and they've stuffed some looks like filter media in there as well now, the reason they did that is because these units here, these carrier units, are notorious for driving snow getting into this electrical compartment. All right, now, I've seen these things sealed up many different ways, silicone, gasket material, but the, the snow, I'm telling you, it finds its way into these cabinets most of the time. I'm not sure how it's getting in. If anybody has any tips that they've done to rectify the situation, then I'd love to hear about it. But the reason the fuses are blowing is yeah, the snow is getting in, but the reason the fuses are blowing constantly is because we have an issue. And we can see this with one of the, the contactors. I'm gonna to try to get close in for you here. Now, you see that terminal there, how it's burnt? You see the terminal back there how it's kind of melted well what happens is when the snow gets in if there's any dust or anything any dust carbon and the snow gets in or it gets damp the power tracks across or it tracks back to the cabinet uh, plate which is ground and the fuses blow this is very very common and a lot of people don't catch this it's easy to find all you have to do is inspect the line side of the contactors and look for that melting but that's the reason 
that's causing the fuses to blow. So we're gonna go ahead and change all of these contactors out and put some new connectors where we need to put new connectors. And that should solve the problem of the fuses blowing, but we need to find a way to, to seal this cabinet up so the snow doesn't get in. So we have our culprits and I'm kind of glad it worked out like this because then I can explain both of these. So what happened here, this contactor here takes the main power coming up from the disconnect, right? And then it comes in here and it kind of piggybacks over to the top of other contactors on the line side. So what happened here is you can see that we have a track right back to the plate here, which is touching ground. So this was tracking back to ground and that was causing a short and fuses to blow. This one here is a little bit different. If we look here, we can see we have a melted terminal and it's melted here. And if you look really closely, you can almost see this kind of line, this hairline here that goes from one end to the other. So this was shorting across and this one was shorting to ground. So we found out the problem. What we've done is replaced the contactors, the relay back there. I'm gonna clean up the wiring a little bit, put some zip ties and stuff on it. And we're going to try to get some of these holes sealed up better. But that's what caused the issue was rain, snow, water getting in, dust accumulation, and that dust or, or carbon, what happens is we start to embed the moisture in the dust and carbon and it creates these tracks to ground and across. So that's it guys. If you enjoy the content, you enjoy these videos guys, please like, subscribe to the video. More HVAC stuff coming your way. Happy HVACing.